Okay, right. Now again, the caveat, I'm putting it on as many of these clips as I remember to do, just purely that I'm not a professional groomer. Um, I'm just showing you how I do it. And also, this is a pet bitch that isn't shown, and so therefore maybe not quite as precise and careful as one would be if one were shown. But now we're going to move on to the back legs. And obviously the paw side of it is very, very similar to what we've already done on the front. So we'll go looking for claw. That one's got a bit of mud on it, but it's still a bit dark. Let's see what I can find. That's the fraction dark. So there's that one. Okay, that one's lighter. You can see the quick down to there and then the white bit at the end. So I've got quite a bit I can take off. And again, going vertically with the clippers on the nails. And then now I know where I can go to. Judging again on the next one. And of course, it is harder when you've got the hair all around, but you can't do the paws properly if the claws are long. So that one I think is quite looks quite a long way down, so I'm not going to take very much of that one. Right. No, darling. Just because I said right doesn't mean you're finished. Nice try. So, again, take the base off. And that's the worst of it off, so now we'll go for her stood. And again, clear out the bits. Right, snowshoes about to go. Exactly the same principle, holding the scissors. If you can keep your foot still, please, darling. Holding the scissors vertically. I'm on straights again. Yep. Straights are the main, mainly used on the claws. Oh, I do. Claws on the pack. Paws on claws. Taking off the very worst of the excess. And actually, there you can see the straight lines you get when you use straights and why you don't want to use them most of the time. Very angular and unnatural. Then taking off the top flat against the paw. Taking off coming through that, bit on that and then now we've got the rough shape of the paw and I'm going to worry about this bit at the back here in a minute and we can go for just tidying up a bit more Just of funny th one thing you do find with claws is that paws, sorry, is as they move the coat will change as what's sticking up. So somebody did once say to me you should actually do paws every day, um, just to get them really beautiful. So you can just see the little bits that come up. And certainly I know when I'm showing my dogs, because unfortunately the ones I show tend to have quite a lot of coat, and of course they're trimmed a lot. And whether it's an old wife's tail or not, I'm not sure, but certainly the ones, people say that if the more you trim coat, the more it comes. Well, those ones in a week, the paws are totally scruffy again. Not obviously as bad as this, but um, just very obviously in need of a tidy up. And again, we've got this cat-like shape of the paw coming back to us. Just take a little bit more off there to make it look a little bit neater. Again, now I'm getting into niceties. But it's basically, there, got a nice tidy paw. Just a little bit more on the inside, a bit of coat that's infusing to disappear. 